So hi, this is a continuation of topic 2.3 and we're going to be talking about batteries. So essentially a battery is a storage of electrical energy in a chemical form. So your stored electrical en energy is being converted into, sorry, the stored chemical energy is being converted into electrical energy. And most batteries essentially work by having two different metals separated by an electrolyte. Okay. Um, and so that creates the flow of, an electro of electrons. And that's what electricity is, it's the flow of electrons. This video here will give you a good understanding of how batteries work. So go ahead and watch that now, and then come back to me. Okay, so different battery types. Here's some different battery types. And some of these you're familiar with, and some of them are you're not, like this, these zinc carbon ones right here. Uh, we'll go into those. Well, well, let's go into these individually. So. We'll move on. Here we go. Zinc carbon. So these are sort of the standard throwaway batteries that you use uh, in, in electronic devices. These are your double A's and triple A's. And essentially what you've got here is the anode being this zinc col uh, container right here. It's the actual zinc of the container right here. And then the cathode being the magnesium dioxide, which is the stuff that's in the middle here. This carbon rod actually doesn't, um, it's not involved in, in the, uh, um, generation of the electrical current, what it does is it conducts it. So this is the conductor that, that takes the, the, um, the, uh, the positive end right there. Okay. All right. So that's that one. Okay. These are not rechargeable, which is the next type of battery that we would look at. So these are alkal alkaline batteries, and these are the ones that you would typically also find in AA, AAA, that kind of stuff for consumer electronics. But typically, these can be recharged. Not always, but they can be recharged. Our anode is a zinc powder, right? So there is going to be powdered zinc inside here. And the cathode is magnesium dioxide, um, which is right sort of here, okay? Um, so this is a, a collector, so this is going to kind of collect the electrons, all right? And so this is the type of battery that's typically recyclable, okay? And you can read more about it here in, in, in this article. Okay, let's go on to lithium ion. So if you click on this, it's gonna give you a video to watch about lithium ion batteries. Okay, so you should watch this video, watch this video, and then you'll be able to uh, have a good understanding of, of lithium ion batteries. And those are typically the ones that we use in um, our cell phones. Okay, so have a good look at that one. Okay, let's move on to the next. All right, a lead acid battery. So these are, um, lead acid batteries are, um, you know, typically the ones that you find in your uh, car. So in the engine of your car, you're going to be finding this kind of battery. Okay, it's very rechargeable, and it also produces a lot of voltage when you need it. And that's why it's really good in a car, because you need a lot of uh, electricity to start a car running. Okay, um, So again, click on this. There's a video to watch about how lead-acid batteries work. Okay, and That'll give you a good understanding of lead-acid batteries. Okay, here we go to the next one. Nickel iron batteries. Okay, so uh, once again, there's a video here to watch about how nickel iron batteries work. Um, these uh, and the next sort of three are all involved with nickel, and um, I believe Edison is the one who invented this one. Okay, they're they're kind of interesting batteries. Moving on, we got nickel cadmium. Okay, this is another type of battery. Um, that people use. Again, watch a video. You can understand how it works. Okay, here's the chemical reactions for that. Um, cadmium is a problem because cadmium is a heavy metal, which is toxic. And finally, we've got the nickel metal hydride, okay, which is, um, this is a, a schematic of that. And go ahead and watch this video um, here, and it'll give you some information about that. Okay, moving on. Um, capacitors. So capacitors are their uh, electronic components, and, and you know we find them in a lot of, of consumer electronics. And if you were to tear them apart, you would you find them in there. And basically, they can temporarily store an electrical charge. They're pretty interesting little devices. So it's not quite a battery um, because they don't store it for very long, uh, and they don't sto store very much. But they can help to even out the flow of electricity, just in case um, too much electricity or not enough electricity is happening. Uh, 
Okay, so have a uh, look at this video, and um, that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.